Assalamu alaikum. My name is Moaz Ahmed and in this video I will be explaining the question number 5.5 .5 and 5.8 of assignment number 4 of DLD given to us by our sir, sir Umar Farooq. And the first question that we are going to discuss is this question right here, question 5.5. .5. So this question states that design the control circuit for a vending machine with the following specifications and simulate in Proteus and Meek video as well and the vending machine must accept nickels and dimes and if the machine has received 15 cents which means 1 nickel and 1 dime as 1 nickel is equal to 5 cents and 1 dime is equal to 10 cents and when the machine receives 15 cents it delivers a package of candy but if more than 15 cents have been added to the machine then it returns the candy for 15 cents and the remaining cents it returns as change when the candy has been released the release mechanism brings the circuit back to the original starting state so if I go to my solution here which is right here so this is our vending machine and as you can see that this is our vending machine's block diagram and our vending machine has two inputs as it takes two inputs nickel and dime and it has two options as output which are either it will release a candy or it will give us change so this is our state diagram our vending machine has three states s c s not s1 and s2 s not being there is no cents inside of the machine s1 is there is 5 cents inside the machine but S2 states that there are 10 cents inside the machine. So, S0 is the initial stage. So, if we are at S0 stage, then it checks for if there is no nickel or no dime, it will remain in this state over and over again. But, if we add one nickel in this state to the vending machine it will move toward the s1 state which as we already know that which states that this is the state of five cents so this moves to s1 state so still five cents are not enough to buy a candy so if we add another 5 cents to this state it will move towards the s2 state which is the state of 10 cents as we have 10 cents in the vending machine already now if from s0 another 5 cents are added to s2 which makes total of 15 cents which are enough for a, buying a candy then it returns the candy to the initial stage it returns the candy to the user and then goes back to the initial stage so this right here tells us that it returns the time and so this right here tells us that it returns a candy back to the user so this is our state diagram and right here we have the state table where different tests are organized so that we can perform them in Proteus. So from this table we have defined our state equations and K maps. So using these equations I have implemented a circuit in the Proteus software which is right here. So this is our Proteus circuit for vending machine and in this machine we have two inputs one is for dime and one is for nickel and we have analyzer here 
and we have flip flops and gates and gates mostly so we also have logic props right here so if I run this simulation simulation is already running and this is our output in the logic analyzer so as you can see that we are getting our desired results so let's move on to the next question which is question number 5.8 and if I go to my question statement which is right here so in this question we are asked to make a circuit for the falling garage door opener state machine using melee machine and simulate in Proteus using gates and we are also required to make a video so this design document is given to us so this one right here is initial machine initial state of the machine and then we have two other states one is down next which simply means that our machine is not in the down state but the next state it opts to be is down it will go down next and same is the case right here except it is for up going up and we have two more states which is moving up as it is clear from its name that it is about the opening of the gate and moving down which is about closing of the gate so if I go to my Proteus file which is right here and this is our circuit for this question and now if I run my simulation right here so first of all I will go here on my inputs where up active and down so this one is for opening the gate and this one is for closing the gate so our circuit is active our garage door opener is active now and if I activate the opening here and we can see that it is now instead of moving as it was moving in the anti-clockwise direction now it is moving in the clockwise direction which is for opening of the garage door so that's it from this video and till next time Allah Hafiz